Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. Let's continue the React JS tutorial series. Now in this video tutorial, I will explain how to disable the dates dynamically from and to dates which are the future and past dates using HTML input elements in React JS class component. Let's check the final output dynamically disable the dates from and to based on the user selection dates now if you notice here we have selected uh, we have set the default dates from and to both are the today's date which is the 8th of january if you notice the from dates the future dates are disabled so user can't select the future dates because the to date is greater than from date because we have already selected 8th of january if you select 11th of January, you can check here the dates of 11th of January, we can select, but after 11th, we can't select. If you select third, here I have selected 3rd of January, notice here, I can select the future dates of the 3rd of January. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. I'm using Visual Studio Code to create a React.js application. Just for the time saving, I have already created one project called chml insert in this above folder. Let me expand my project. If you notice in my project, there is a source folder. Let me allow to expand the source folder also. In the source folder, all the JS files, notice all the JS files which are nothing but a components whether it's a class or functional components i am creating in this source folder only and for this example also i'm creating one new js file right click the source folder new file and the file name is from and to.js and here we got from and to.js file now when you want to create a component in react.js we can create two ways one is a functional and the second one is a class component but before create a component we must import the react class from the react library let's add that step first import react from react library after that let's define one class the class name is my file name which is from n2 and and extends this class with a component react.component class now in every class at the end the bottom line we need to uh, export default from n2 which is a component name or class name now between the curly brackets inside the class component there are two important methods one is the render method and inside this render method there is a written method which displays the output on the browser and this written method contains the html elements first i am adding one div element the div element is a root element of our component when we want to add multiple html elements we must add between the div container only otherwise we'll get an error first i'm adding one h1 tag headings mm dynamically disable the dates from and to and after that i'm adding another heading react.js tutorials now after the horizontal line after the headings i'm adding on horizontal line let's put everything this in the center so our data will display in the center of the browser and I'm closing the center tag after the horizontal line. Now, after the horizontal line, I'm adding two HTML input date elements. One for the from date, I'm adding one bold tag, or you can you can add the strong also from NBSP, which gives a space between the elements. And here I'm adding one input type is equals to input type is a property date let's close this one 
and after that I'm giving some small gap between these two elements and the SP so instead of writing the same lines I'm copying and paste here for two input date from n2 we required so this is two now we got two HTML date elements in our written method now before adding the functionality how to disable the dates dynamically depends on the user selection dates first let's check the output how it looks the designing part on the browser save this file save all and now one more important step is when we want to run our component on the browser we must configure our component in index.js file the index.js file will be available in the source folder come to the bottom here is the index.js file open that one if you notice the index.js file and the render method contains the app component which is a default component of our project i'm deleting this app component which i don't require for this example and i'm pasting my a newly created component from n2 and also we need to import our component in the header section that's it now let's save this file it's time to check the output how it looks this component on the browser for that go to view click terminal and here we got our terminal and notice the path contains d colon this is the folder this is a folder here and inside this folder i have created my project so let's add my project to this path for that cd change directory chk while insert enter after adding the correct path now i can able to run my component on the browser for that we need to uh, add the command called npm node package manager start enter and here we got our output of our component at this moment it contains only the heading tags horizontal line and two from and two dates now when i click the calendar icon i'm getting one calendar drop up calendar so user can select the dates at the same we can use a two calendar also now my aim is when a user select a particular date for example the from date if a user select 12th of January and from from is 12th January and to the user can select after the dates 12th January so here the scenario before 12th of date what are the 12th the dates are 11 10 9 8 what are the dates previous dates before 12 I want to disable those and here I want to disable the future dates so user can't select the um, greater date from the to and to date so let's add that functionality back to the component now let's create a constructor to create a state constructor after the constructor we require one super method so every constructor contains one super method then only we can create the state this dot state is equals to between curly brackets now inside this state i'm creating from date from date colon i'm creating object date date method dot to iso string dot is a method to iso string method dot and uh, I'm adding the slice method. The slice method takes starting and ending number, two parameters. One is the index 0 and 10. It displays the date, comma, uh, and we require the two date also, two date. Instead of writing the same thing, I'm just copying and pasting here. Now, here I have used two ISO string and slice method which i'm not explaining here because i have already uh, created one video about this to get the date using iso string and slice method please check that video tutorial you can get that video in my react.js tutorial playlist 
So to IO SO string is a date format and slices it displays the index 0 to 10 characters only the length 0 to length 10 now let's add this from date here in date element we have a property called value which displays the output so this dot state dot from date and for to also record the value value this dot state dot to date to date that's it it displays the default date uh, which is a today's date when browser reloads let's save this file we'll check the new output after adding uh, to get a default date when component loads switch over to the browser notice here it here we already got here to the today's date is 8th january now let's reload the browser here one issue is if you want to select any particular date notice here it's not selecting the dates so for that we require one event uh, after the constructor i'm creating one method which is an event so from select date from select date is equals to it's an event key i'm creating an arrow function and why i'm using form cell date method whenever we want to modify or change the state we use set state method in class component we use set state method whereas if you are using functional component we use use state method so this is class component so i'm using set state method so this dot set state method i want to change or modify this from date which is a state colon e dot target dot value now let's copy this one i require uh, not that one whole function I'm creating for the second uh, date element to cell date that's it we don't require to change uh, between these curly brackets uh, here we need to change the to date that's it now let's add this method to an event on change event this dot from cell date and here also we require and here also we require one event on change this dot to cell date to cell date the from cell date and this is from cell date and this is to cell date the both methods i have added here now let's check the output new output after adding this functionality i'm reloading the browser now let's select i'm selecting the 10th of jan see notice here, here i got 10th of jan now here i'm selecting 21st of jan now the main scenario comes here when a user select from that for example here in this scenario 13th of january i have selected when user want to select a two date i want to disable the dates before 13th because the two date must be greater than the from date and from date is uh, lower than the two date so i want to disable two dates before 13th dates whereas here from dates i want to disable after 13th of dates like 14 15 16 whatever the dates after 13th of january i want to disable here i want to disable 12 11 10 of before 13th of january dates let's add that functionality which is very simple we have property call uh, for maximum dates maximum dates is to disable the uh, 
and disable the future dates this dot state dot to date to date is a greater uh, maximum dates and here minimum property I'm adding this dot state dot from date that's it for two input date element I have used from date and from date element I have used to date let's save all after saving this file let's check the final output let's check the final output dynamically disable the dates from and to based on the user selection dates now if you notice here we have selected uh, we have set the default dates from and to both are the today's date which is the 8th of january if you notice the from dates the future dates are disabled so user can't select the future dates because the to date is greater than from date because we have already selected 8th of january if you select 11th of January, you can check here the dates of 11th of January, we can select, but after 11th, we can't select. If we select 3rd, here I have selected 3rd of January, notice here, I can select the future dates of the 3rd of January. That's it. In this video tutorial, I have explained how to disable the dates dynamically based on the input, uh, user input selected dates. Thanks for watching and please subscribe my channel. Catch you in my next video tutorial.